video aids applicants in completing the H2S information section of the well license application in one stop. The sections outside of H2S information will not be the focus of this video. Please watch the end-to-end -end well application video for more information. On the well's H2S information page in the H2S information section, select yes or no to indicate if the well or wells in this application are expected to encounter H2S. When you select No, the well category box auto-populates with the correct category. When you select Yes, additional information is required. When a well containing H2S is proposed, you are required to enter information about the calculated H2S release rate, the sour content expected, and emergency planning. In the Potential H2S Release Rate by Formation section, click Add to enter the information for each formation contributing H2S in the Drilling Case, Completions Servicing Case, and Suspended Producing Case. Complete the Cumulative H2S Release Rate section. Calculate and enter the information for the maximum cumulative H2S release rates expected for the drilling case, completion servicing case, and suspended producing case. Select yes or no to indicate if intermediate casing will be set. Enter the maximum H2S concentration to be encountered in the well. Click on which unit it was measured in. The H2S concentration in the units not chosen will be auto-populated. The anticipated suspended producing level, as per ID 97-06, is calculated from the entered values. The Emergency Planning section is mandatory. Enter the maximum calculated emergency planning zones. Enter the number of occupied dwellings, public facilities, and or places of business inside the calculated emergency planning zones. The distant to the nearest surface development auto-populates from the earlier entry. Enter the distance to the nearest urban center. Select yes or no to indicate if a site-specific emergency plan is required. When yes, indicate whether a plan has been submitted to the AER. For a well that is identified as a critical or proximity critical well, attach all applicable audit documentation, a drilling plan, and any pre-licensing approvals or variances. With the completion of the H2S information screen, note that the well category at the top of the screen auto-populates based on the information provided. Click Next. Proceed through the rest of the application.